Hello and welcome to the Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for January 9th, Thursday. And we'll start off with a summary of what you're going to see today. Uh, first of all, for today and tonight, light snow. Once again, very similar, uh, a little bit colder than yesterday, so a little bit more uh, compared to what we had on Wednesday and Wednesday night. There is a break on Friday until the late evening hours when heavy snow with some wind on Friday late night and into Saturday night um, develops. In fact, we have a winter storm watch out for uh, most of our eastern uh, region border with Wyoming, that whole mountainous region in there, and also for portions of the uh, Wood River Valley or Wood River Basin and the Stanley Basin also under this um, winter storm watch it is at this point. Uh, elsewhere uh, during this storm it will be uh, at least moderate snow uh, we're believing and maybe possibly even heavy snow in some of the locations down on the valley floor. We'll take a look at that and then uh, moderate to heavy snow once again on Sunday to Sunday night and moderate to heavy snow again for most of Monday. So this watch which starts Friday late night around 11 p.m actually goes through Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and ends Tuesday afternoon. So we're in for a, uh, a very rare event that heavy snow through at least three days and most likely Tuesday as well to make it four. And so I imagine uh, our snow control people will be very busy with uh, resources stretched to their maximum. Here's the current satellite view. This is a storm for today. Here's the break on Friday. And here's our storm, uh, this whole track of storms. It's actually a series of storms coming through the, this Gulf of Alaska up in here and then down. So uh, normally when we get heavy rain in the winter, it's from what they call the Pineapple Express, which is warm air all the way from Hawaii. This is not coming from Hawaii. This is coming from the Gulf of Alaska, so much colder air and it's going to be pretty much all snow with the exception maybe of some lower elevations in the um, eastern Magic Valley and maybe parts of the Snake River Plain, but uh, more than likely not. So here's a summary of the impacts we see. For today, some light snow of you know, one to three inches in the southeast highlands and eastern highlands right along that border with Wyoming. And that's because we're under a northwest flow and so that area is favored when we have northwest airflow over uh, eastern Idaho. Then on Friday, like I said, it starts late night on Friday night. So most of this you'll see is all labeled for that. So really during the day, it's actually going to be fairly calm, uh, maybe even some clear skies or at least sunnier than it's been lately. Uh, but by late Friday night, it's clouding up the snow starts and it intensifies here on Saturday. See all the areas we, uh, these are the areas in red that are currently under a winter storm watch and areas here in orange will likely be under at least a winter weather advisory. Um, there are some places in the Snake River Plain that right now look like they'll be on the high side of moderate and it'll be borderline heavy. So this may end up under a winter storm warning as well. That is for most locations from Idaho Falls northward to uh, St. Anthony and Rexburg. Um, though that's the area of most concern for at least the population centers. And slightly less concern, like the advisory level, which would be you know, three to six inches of snowfall in the Magic Valley, the South Central Highlands, uh, the rest of the Snake River Plain you know, from Idaho Falls to the south. And then lighter snow in South Lemai County and Lost River area. Sunday looks to be continued heavy snow in Wood River and the Sawtooth area. You see the heavy snow continues. Um, if you add up all the snow together, we're looking in excess of three feet uh, during this, uh, actually the four day period will well, include the snow on Tuesday as well. So, um, you know, it's just really impacting the Wood River area and the Sawtooth. Um, and the snow will continue. There'll be a sort of a reinforcement on Monday uh, for the Snake River Plain, Magic Valley, 
uh, everything except for the Lost River area in South Lemhi County. They'll be kind of protected, a lot of the snow being caught by the Wood River Basin and the Sawtooth Basin. So for today, let's look at the details. If you're interested in that, we have uh, light snow, uh, some enhanced snow uh, here along the um, northern half of the uh, Idaho-Wyoming border and some up here just north of our area in the um, uh, central Idaho mountains. And so here's how it breaks out for this afternoon. Um, uh, a lot of it during the morning. There'll be some light snow down here. I'm not sure why our processing did not produce a slide for this for the Thursday morning time frame. Um, and light snow here. You see it does intensify, especially over this area um, during the afternoon uh, in the basically the eastern highlands. Uh, the high temperatures on Thursday, you can see uh, it does get to at least around freezing in the Pocatello area, but um, that's just going to be a brief time, if any, of it being above freezing. So I don't see a lot of rain today. It is definitely more of a snow event. But snow isn't, there isn't a whole lot down here that we're expecting. Um, it's basically zero to about half an inch for the eastern Magic Valley. And it intensifies the further you get. Um, uh, north and east of uh, Eastern Magic Valley. The other thing to watch out for for tonight is the wind speeds. Uh, they do start to pick up, so again, uh, snow gets picked up at around 15 miles an hour um, wind speeds, so you're looking for this medium blue. So there's not a whole lot of locations. It's mostly I-84 going into, you know, down to Snowville. And um, you, know, you might see some some weak drifting on the uh, I-84 portion in eastern Idaho. So here's uh, Thursday evening. You can see the snow is winding down, and that will pretty much finish it. Uh, here in the overnight hours, you can see it really diminishes, most of it less than an inch, just some of the higher passes going into Wyoming have to deal with it in the pass between Montpelier and Preston. And um, and then during the day on Friday, uh, we have actually partly cloudy, mostly sunny kind of skies uh, for most of the day. And then this stuff is moving in. This would be basically Friday, late night hours, and that's why it's considered heavy here in uh, the Central Idaho Mountains and the other snow. So high temperatures, though, you can see how much cooler it is in spite of the clearer skies. Um, it's actually going to uh, drop another five degrees in uh, afternoon and high temperatures. And here's the snow mount for Friday night. You can see how it really picks up. This is again after about 11 p.m. You can see it's at 8 to 12 inches here solidly from Galena Summit over into Stanley Basin and moderate snow elsewhere. Uh, the wind speeds, there are enough locations here in this medium blue where we can get some drifting snow, and it's right on the I-15, I-86, and I-84 corridors. Uh, so it is affecting uh, the drive on those. And then on Saturday, uh, heaviest snow. You can see it uh, starts to develop here, even over the Idaho-Wyoming border region. And so that's why we have uh, winter storm watches in effect for those locations. So here on Saturday, um, we only have 12 hours snowfall amount uh, images available. There were no six. Um, and so during the day on Saturday, one to two inches in Pocatello. You can see three to six to almost eight inches here in the eastern highlands. And then solidly, again, in the uh, Galena Summit areas, uh, you're looking at six to eight inches just during the day. And then for the overnight hours, uh, uh, more is coming. Here's the winds for Saturday. Again, you, you can imagine drifting snow here um, where the winds are, speeds are strong enough in that medium blue and the dark blue. Uh, temperatures on Saturday rising a little bit. Um, so we might get some, some rain and snow mix in the afternoon, but um, don't count on it to last very long. And then on Saturday night, um, a little bit less, it does sort of let up from the prodigious amounts uh, 
produced during the day. And wind speed for Saturday evening, you can see still continued areas of drifting snow, especially on I-84. And this is the total snowfall amount for Saturday, uh, midnight to midnight. Uh, you can see 12 to 18 inches of snow, Galena Summit in the Stanley Basin. Uh, 6 to 12 inches of snow in the rest of the Wood River Valley. And similar 6 to uh, 14 inches of snow in the um, eastern highlands. Uh, all these roads going into Wyoming definitely going to have an effect. And even I would imagine problems here in the Snake River Plain with a lot of it from 2 to 6 inches. So once again, this is going to be a busy, busy time once Friday uh, night gets here. And it doesn't really let up until Tuesday. Uh, winter storm watches are in effect for that time period for select portions of our area, not everywhere. Uh, but you will probably see winter weather advisories for almost every other location, with the exception maybe of Lemhi County and uh, the Lost uh, River Basins, both the Big Lost and the Little probably won't get, will be sheltered from a lot of this snowfall, uh, but the rest of eastern Idaho, um, I mean, this is breezy, heavy snow, three or four days in a row, will have an effect, a, a severe impact on uh, travel, uh, not only on the road system, but uh, even in the airport system. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, always contact us at this telephone number, or you can Look at the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. If you have any comments on the content of the briefing, email our um, webmaster at this email address right here. Thanks for watching.